you what's happening guys today we're taking a look at this board that I designed because I screwed up somewhere this is just a really super simple circuit uh, my son asked me to uh, make a game timer for him basically so we got three LEDs here green yellow red and it should last for about 30 seconds of green and about I think it's 20 seconds of green, 10 seconds of yellow, and it goes red. So it's really simple. 555 five, five timer, CD4017, and a little bit of diode steering. So like the first, I think it's the first like six outputs go to the green. Then like three of them go to the yellow, and then finally it goes to the red. Yeah, there's, there's there's nothing to it. It's a super simple circuit. Powers off of a uh, nine volts. But when I power it up, we get nothing. Uh, what a mess. Where did I go wrong? I'm at. My joints are okay. There's no solder bridges. Focus. There's, there's no solder bridges. A little bit of flux residue, but all that is good. So, let's go have a look at the schematic and see if I can figure it out. Okay, before we get started, let me just say that this video is sponsored by PCB Way, where you can get five boards for about $22 in about a week. Really simple to do. You put in your dimensions, choose how many you want, how many layers. You get an instant quote. You can upload your Gerber file. They'll review your order to make sure there's no problems. You pay, they make it, they ship it, boom, you got it. That simple. Okay, here's the circuit. Do you see the mistake I made already? I see it as soon as I brought this up. Okay, here's our 555 timer, everything's good. Here's our 4017, that's all good. There's our power in, that's all good. There's our diode steering, that's all good. There's our LEDs, there's our current limiting resistor, and oh! Somebody forgot to put a ground on here. So what that means is when we go to the PCB file, and there's our 1K current limiting resistor, okay? See how when I do that, it shows where it's connected and if I come over here we get that boom see how that works everything's connected somewhere except for him oops so that's connected there that should be connected to ground so perhaps we can put a mod wire on here and make sure it works what do you guys think? Let's take a look at the circuit one more time. Super simple. We're going to run it off in 9 volts. We are uh, controlling our timing over here with the capacitor and uh, resistor. Yeah, standard. Um, 555 five timer in a stable mode. Then its output comes over here, triggers the clock of the 4017. Then the first output goes over here and the second output you get the idea right they just go boom 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 so you have one two three four five six seven of them go to the green LED two of them go to the red or the yellow and one goes to the red not bad nice little layout but I really screwed the pitch on this one all right, let's see if we can mod it and make it work. Pardon the mess on the bench. I'm working on another project at the top.
time and these just came in. But uh, I think we can make it work. These first uh, resistors I grabbed are a little too big. And that's why you're seeing that. So. I believe it's that one there. It's not connected anywhere. That's a. Uh, Let's test, shall we? Shall so bring in the meter. Today's meter will be the ANN 870. And I have noticed something annoying about this meter. The uh, probe masters don't fit quite tightly in there. So, continuity test. Which one is this one? Right here. Get my probe on there. And it should be connected to ground. And it's not. So, where's my pin? It's like this one should be connected to ground. Oh, there's nothing connected to ground. There we go. There we go. Pin one connected to ground. Pin eight should be connected to VCC. Yeah, see, we're good there. Ground. No ground. Okay, so we're just going to need to uh, verify that that is actually the mistake that I've made. I'm pretty sure it is. So we'll just get a piece of wire. And we'll tin her up. We'll try and mod it here. What do you say? And if this if this solves the the problem, then what we'll do is we will uh, spin up a V two of the board. That's just my my technique for one-handed uh, tinning. It'll work. There you go. When it falls off, you know you're tinned, right? So which one are we? Gonna, I'm just gonna do it on top. I don't even care. But like I said, this isn't this isn't going anywhere. So let's uh let's tin that connection up there. Hopefully, shotter that on there. This is our ground lead here. We'll tin it up as well. There we go. Then we'll flow that on there. When <laughs> this originally didn't work, I'm like, oh, cool. Not, not all cool that it didn't work, but all cool, we can do a nice troubleshooting video. Then the second I popped up the, uh, the schematic, I'm like, oh, crap. That's all it is. Well, maybe that's all it is, right? I believe we'll find out. Right about now, right? Dun dun dun. There's green. Oh, 
hopefully it switches to yellow. Okay, that took longer than I had expected. It took about 31 seconds, so I'll have to adjust my uh, timing capacitors there. Okay, now I think I really screwed up because the red's not lighting at all. We're powered up. I might just have it wired backwards. I could. You always got to look for things like that. Check to see if there's a possibility that you made a mistake. So that should be ground. Oh. No ground connection? What the actual the positive connection? Okay. That's strange. Why do I not have a ground connection? Wait a minute here. Let's uh let's do a little experimento. Get this big light out of the way over here so I don't knock anything over. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our voltage down to three volts. as close to as I can get. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test that LED. I'm going to short these out. And adjust this so that I'm only... I know that's hard to see. I apologize. I only want to put in... There, about 20 milliamps. Okay. Just to make sure I have everything wired up correctly. If if I do, this LED should light. Okay, so that is wired up correctly. So it has no ground. Back to the schematic. Okay, the red LED goes directly to ground, and when we come over here, all those are hooked up. There's all my grounds there. Huh. Okay, maybe it's just in the soldering. Hmm, strange. Yep, just a little bit of bad soldering. So, all right, what I'm going to do is completely, uh, well, not completely, I'm going to respin the board. Let's go uh, back over to the computer. Okay, here we are. So, we need to get from here to a ground. There's our grounds. Can we do it? I think so. Let's let's go from here. To here. Then we'll drop down to the bottom. Okay, and we're on top again, which means we can go 
over here like this and then we'll drop down to the bottom come over here go to the top and that connects us with our ground so hopefully because that is directly to ground right yes okay good 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 all right so what we'll do is we'll resave that and we need to redo our Gerbers one moment please okay instead of create a folder so now we can export our Gerbers We will export them all. Hold on one second. We need to label this bad boy. So let's move this over here. Come back in here. Can we get in here? We need to be on top. Silk. Can we get in here? Not quite, but it'll work. V2. Then we'll just move that kind of up here like that. All right, now now we'll save it. Now we'll export our Gerbers. Okay, we will export all, and it has to go to a new folder called Game Timer 2. Come on, baby. Come on. Keep up with daddy. Excellent. Excellent. And then we will export our drill. Do you want to set them on, Mac? Oh, sure. Sure. And then we just got to uh, zip it and send it so I think I'm gonna end this one here we'll pick this up in a week when I get the v2 boards back thanks for watching hope you enjoyed if you did give me a thumbs up if you think I'm a dipshit go ahead and give me a thumbs up anyway it's alright we all make mistakes that's it I'm out peace